Hey everyone, welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered on PS4. So in the last part we got reunited with Ellie again in the hotel. She saved our ass, but Joel was not too happy that Ellie didn't stay where he told her to stay. So we're going to carry on now, hopefully get out of the hotel soon. Because we've had a really hard time in here with the amount of infected and hunters that have been living here. Is Ellie coming up? Where is she? Just taking her time, cleaning a knife. Alright, so this is the doorway we're going to go through. Actually, before we go through there, let's just quickly check this side. Looks like there's some weapon parts we can pick up here. Yep. Is that a in the bin? No, the bin's empty. So our ammo is very spread out across our weapons. One bullet there, two bolts there, one there, and one there. <laughs> and a brick! A brick is always, like, a weapon. It's not just a distraction, it's a very effective weapon in close range. And we've also got a baseball bat on our back as well. Alright, there's a bottle there. Okay, I picked that up by accident. Let's switch back to the brick. Jump over the counter. Quickly check these tables. They look empty to me. Let's get the bow back out. Alright, looks like we're actually leaving the hotel right now. Let's jump on the scaffolding. I'm gonna jump down there and I'm gonna clear us a path. What about me? You stay here. This is so stupid. We'd have more of a fucking chance if you let me help. I am. And you seem to know your way around a gun. You reckon you can handle that? Well, I sorta of shot a rifle before. But it was at rats. Rats? With BBs. Well, it's the same basic concept. Lift it up. All right, now, you're going to lean right into that stock because it is going to kick a hell of a lot more than any baby rifle. Okay. Go and pull the bolt back. Grab it right there. Just tug it. Here you go. And as soon as you fire, you're going to want to get another round in there quick. Listen to me. If I get into trouble down there, you make every shot count. Yeah. I got this. All right. And just so we're clear about back there, it was either him or me. You're welcome. Yeah, so I should have known better. If you're going to steal, then you better make sure you get away with it. Right? I would have done. They're all fucking dead! What the hell's he yapping about? Take a breath! Who's dead? The whole crew. The 76 lookout guy. Some fucking tourists killed him. Kill all of them! Shit. Did you talk to the boss? Yeah. He wants everyone to hold their ground. Watch the gate. All right. You heard him. Search the area. Do not let anybody through! Okay, so word is out that we are in the area taking out their fellow hunters. So, in the last cutscene as well, it looks like Joel's actually starting to trust Ellie. He's given her the responsibility of a gun, and he's also pretty much thanked her for saving his life back in the hotel. So, I'll take this guy out now. Still in cover. I'm going to go around the outside before we actually go through the middle. There's a health kit there, health bar. So, they went out on full health. We might be at full health now, I'm not sure. Um. There's a guy in there. Let's keep an eye out and see where he moves. It's very dark in there. That's because of the patch that they released for this game on um, on the PS4 version. It made The gamma's all messed up for some reason. I don't know why they did that. So let's get this guy. We'll choke him out behind the counter. Okay, so he's down now. I'm going to go back the way that guy was, see if there's anyone else around the corner. No, there isn't. There is some weapon parts though on the bench. What have we got here? Stay around the outside. 
Okay, we get behind this police car. There's a guy up top on the, the walkway. There's also a guy down below. Probably going to take the guy up top with the bow and arrow. And, um, but we've only got one arrow, arrow left. But I feel like he's an important target to take out because obviously he is, um, has got a, a good vantage point over the whole area. So he's likely to spot me. So next time he goes to the left, the far hand side, and stops, we're going to take him out and hopefully get him in one shot. Because we've only got one shot actually. Alright, is he going to stop? He stopped there. Okay, we got him. Nice. I think we actually got him on the leg there, but we took him out. Um, I'm going to throw a brick actually here. Get this guy's attention. So we can bring him a bit closer and we'll take him out from a choke. Nice. Take him into a bit more cover so we don't get... There's a guy in the back out there as well. Went a bit blurry there. There's a guy in the back of that shop. So we've taken out four guys so far. We, I kind of want to get back up there as well and um, get the arrow back. Because they are very handy, actually. The steel pipe's better than the baseball bat. It's got more hits in it. And it's a fresh one. So we're going to take that. We could do we could get another brick as well, actually. Not seen any in the area just yet. Okay, so we need to clear the area to get Ellie down. Because I think the exit is that way. But Ellie's not going to come along until we clear it for her to drop down and come along. You can see a head in the distance. You probably can't see it because it's so far away. She's um, got some sniper watch over us. So if things do get dangerous and we get spotted, she'll hopefully take out a few enemies with a few shots. So we've got this guy patrolling in the middle. If he turns around, we're going to make a break for it and go inside that burger shop. He might still have a view on us here. And there's also a guy patrolling around between that shop and the cafe next door. So we've got to be careful we don't get spotted going in. Alright, that guy's out of view now. So we're inside. We're going to get behind the counter for some cover. Actually, shit, that guy's right there. So, actually, we can be able to creep in behind him now, hopefully, and take him out. If he doesn't turn around too quick. Looks like he's going to carry on and go to the next building. Alright, so we've got this guy now. We might as well just go to the left-hand side a bit and take him out behind this cover. Before we carry on and take out the guy in the middle, I just want to quickly check and scavenge for any materials. Holy shit, what's going on in here? Fireflies. I'm not going to read that note because we are in a bit of a danger zone, as Archer would say. I haven't got time to sit around reading notes when there's um, potential threats patrolling around outside. We've got a new building we haven't checked out yet in here. There's a health back there. We must be at full health now, surely. I can hear footsteps, actually. Is there a guy upstairs? Oh, shit, he's right there. So he's coming down. Hopefully we can grab him. I don't know where the other guy is though outside. I don't think he comes in here, so we should be okay to attempt to take this guy out. Right, let's grab him. Just gonna take him closer to, to this cover here. And choke him out here. Nice, he had some um, cloth on him. She used to make med, pa med packs and. Um, Molotov cocktails. So we'll leave that guy outside for the moment because he's no threat while we're inside. And um, creep on upstairs and make sure it's all clear. So we got no reinforcements coming into us if we do get spotted outside. Because it's, it's a lot easier to take enemies out indoors because obviously there's a lot of cover with all like these sof sofas, tables, you know, walls, doors. You can make a brick for cover a lot easier. So this is the balcony now, where we got the guy with the bone arrow. Right, there's the guy down there. Shit. 
you almost spotted us there. Would you, if you if you could go prone in this, it'd be very useful. <laughs> oh shit, is he almost, is he spotting us again? Yeah, there's a little tiny gap there. You almost seen us. Okay, so he's facing the other way now. I'd say it's safe to um, I'm gonna jump in this window. It's like a little office up here. We can stand up a little bit because we're out of range of that guy from hearing us. Let's quickly check and scavenge. There's, pff, there's an arrow. Nice. Man's best friend is second to the brick. Let's see if this arrow is still intact that we killed the guy with. I don't think it will be. I think it hit him in the knee, so it probably hit his bone and smashed. Yeah, it's, it's not there to be picked up. Actually, shit. There it is. Oh, it's in it. Whoa. Did I get him in the arm? Well, the, no, it's in the leg. Look at his ass. He's bleeding out the asshole. Ooh. So, we've only got one guy left now. Now, I'm not sure if you take the last guy out if reinforcements come. So, I'm going to do it stealthily. Creep up right behind him so once we have taken him out, we can actually get in some cover. Alright, so we're going to go outside through this door now and be on the outside. And we'll just kind of take a peek and see where this guy is. He must be behind um, that monument in the middle. So let's get behind these cars. There he is, we see him. So I'm going to get behind this. So I know he's walking in away from us, so we can get behind this a bit closer now. Kind of scout him out and trying to figure out where's the best opportunity to take a pounce on him. Keep my bow and arrow handy in case he turns around all of a sudden. Or he can just stab him in the heart. Right, so he's walking that way. Let's creep up behind him. Shit, he's turning. Nice, we got him. So let's gotta take him out here and we'll run back to Ellie. Is that it? No, I'm not sure if there's reinforcements coming in here. Oh, Ellie's up there. You can just see the tip of her hair up there. I think Joel normally shouts to Ellie, alright, come on down now, when it's clear. So there must be someone still lurking around. There must be a guy ahead, up here, at the end. Shit, yeah, there is. There's two. That was super close. So there's two guys over there. If I pop up with the bone arrow, they will see me. Yeah, for sure. So it's better to go down, I think. Maybe throw a brick around the corner and take him out. Oh shit, I think that actually hit me. That was silly. That was stupid. Unnecessary damage right there. Is there a guy behind us as well? So we're going to go from the top up here. I'm going to get the bow drawn ready and creep over to the side, strafe across. Just make sure I'm on the right place. And um, as soon as he comes in sight, we'll take the shot on the first guy. We'll just test it first. There he is. Okay, so he's spotting us there. Hopefully there won't be any like detection there. I can actually get through the gap with the arrow. So here we go. I think I got the guy. I did. Shit, it's three of them. That guy's got armor on him. Crap. So these guys are going to be coming upstairs now to try and get me. Have I got a shotgun ammo? Nope. Okay, so we're going to have guys coming towards us right now. Through that doorway. There you go. Nice. Took him out. He had a Molotov on him. I don't think there's any other way for him to get up here apart from that doorway. So we've still got two more left. One guy's got armor on. We shot his chest armor. We didn't kill him. I wonder where the other guys are coming. There is one. This guy's got armor on. Shit. Um, I might have to use a Molotov. Um, oh, shit. Ellie shot one. Nice. No! The fuck? What the hell? 
Who threw that Molotov? That wasn't Ellie, was it? Medpack time. So there's more than what I expected there. Whew. So it sounds like Ellie's actually shooting them now. I swung at that guy as he jumped in the window, but he managed to get a hit on me. Which is really unfortunate. This last guy. Take that guy out. Give him a brain hemorrhage. Looks like we still got more. This the last guy. Let him jump through the window. Nice. Oh, we got him. Anyone else? Oh my god. They're all just coming through this one. This, this, this um, office. I swear there was only like three of them that ran through that, that passageway to the right. And there's a shitload coming through. Okay, but there must be more. There must be someone else because the music's playing. Kind of instigating me in combat. Where's this last guy? So there's definitely a guy left somewhere. I have no idea where he is. No one down there, is there? No. There's a Molotov, it looks like, to pick up, though, on the ground. It might just be a bottle. There he is. What? Oh, shit. Is that he just shot him? Alright, come on down. Nice. Nice one, Ellie. Save you some ammo there. I'll bring down the rest of the clips. I do. About something uh, a little more your size. It's for emergencies only. Okay. Safety zone. Uh, do, do you know how to switch it off? I do. Okay, you just. You gotta respect it. This is not. A... Joel, be careful. Okay. I'm sure there was something outside this door. It looked like a Molotov cocktail you could pick up. Looks like it's, looks like it's gone now, though. All the bodies have gone as well, so you can't scavenge anything off them. Whew, that was a crazy section right there. Took a long time to get through all that. Got some ammo here, two clips, two amp two rounds even. Alright everyone, so we're gonna end it here. So that was a uh, how much did we get through there? I think we got through this section and we just done a little bit approaching this, but this section took a long time to get through all the first amount of enemies stealthily and then take out all the reinforcements out. Alright, so I'll see you all in the next part. Bye!